Today I'm going to show you my February remix. Hi, I'm Alex and this is Ginger Head & Co, my sewing vlog. Today I'm going to show you what I made in February. And I thought I didn't make a lot, but I think I made quite a few things. Let's start with what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Till in the Buttons Billy sweatshirt. And this one is quite ordinary, <laughs> apart from the fabric. I, I mean, when I say quite ordinary, I mean I haven't changed a lot. So it's almost as is, apart from the pockets, because I added my favourite pockets that I cover stitched. Oops, sorry. I cover stitched here, right? And you know how to make the pockets because there are mm, quite a few videos that I've made and you can make your own. So I added ribbing, ribbing here as well and ribbing here. This time the sleeves are just normal sleeves and so not the puffy sleeves. I used French Terry. The, the French Terry is from fabricshop.pl. I don't think they ship to the UK at the moment. I'm not quite sure. I will have to send them an email and ask because I'm not entirely sure. I know that for some time they stopped shipping to the UK. We'll see how the situation solves itself. But back to the pattern, back to my make, my first make, first that I'm showing you. I love the fabric and I wanted to show off the fabric because I'm not sure how vivid my footage is going to be, but the fabric is really vivid. You can see the golden leaves and I think I needed something simple. I'm not going to make any more Billy sweatshirts just yet because I've got quite a few. But I am definitely going to wear this one a lot. I have worn it. All the things that you are going to see have been worn. And that's the problem with my monthly makes. All of that is usually covered in my cats and my dogs. Some things are dragged out of the laundry basket. So they're not ironed or anything, but I love it. It's, well, nothing to say because I made a video on uh, Billy, how to make the Billy dress with some changes. It is a brilliant make because it takes you one afternoon to make and you can wear it straight away. Even with my changes, with some extras, even with the pockets, it's not going to take you longer than one afternoon. And it's great because you can wear it immediately and I think, as always, with, with Tilly and the Buttons patterns, the instructions are great. Everything should be suitable for most people, but I think there is a beauty in simplicity sometimes. And this one, well, it, it was a great pattern to buy for me because I have definitely used it quite a lot and it is probably going to be used again. Hopefully not this season because that would be too much. And the next make, the next make is my coat. It's Verda coat. It's button number 108 from December 2018. And the coat is, I'm going to add some photos. The coat is quite simple. It hasn't got a collar or anything. So it's lined, but I used my very ordinary acetate lining that I had in my stash. I didn't want it to be special because I don't really want my coat, if my coat is with patterns and this one, well, check. So I didn't want the lining to be the hero of the coat. And uh, I wanted this coat so much. I wanted to try this coat because I've got some fur that I got from Colville and this fabric is also from Colville. And I needed something simple to make a coat made entirely out of fur. I've got purple fur. That's not what I had ordered. <laughs> I just got purple fur, even though I had ordered kind of orangey, burnt, red colour. Oh well, mistakes happen. I didn't want to send it back. So I ended up with purple fur. And purple fur needs something simple. And I am probably going to make a purple fur coat, but maybe not this season because it's getting nicer and nicer every day. Back to the pattern. I did size it down because better patterns usually start with size 36 with so it is about eight in the UK, so I needed to make it smaller and it is a roomy coat. So there is a lot of ease in it and I needed to size it down. And I think I could have gone even a bit further, but I'm always worried. And well, that's the first time I have made this coat. So I had to try. I love it. It is going to be worn a lot. It is already <laughs> being worn. I'm using the fact that it's still 
the mornings are cold and you know i want to get my wear out of it this season very simple my pattern matching is decent i think i don't really spend a lot of time pattern matching but i spend some time when cutting so everything is roughly pattern matched <laughs> but th there is no collar or anything so it's not that difficult it's got pockets and it is shaped so that it is narrower at the hem it didn't take me very long but i made some changes to the process not the pattern itself as such apart from sizing down but the process because i like making my coats in a particular way and i hope this is going to be the last winter coat of this season i was going to make another one but i don't think i have time coats are time consuming if you disagree that's absolutely fine for me coats are time consuming because i can't do everything at once and very often if you make something out of wool well i pre-prepare my wool so i steam my wool and then i wait usually till it gets totally dry so i can work with it but it's not only that it's also there is so much pressing making coats is basically a lot of hand stitching because i mean it depends but i don't think there was loads of hand stitching apart from the hem the the bit at the end of the hem that i do by hand this is one of my favorite methods apart from that i didn't do interlining so i didn't do pad stitching or anything but it still took me two evenings so time consuming and because february was really busy for me really i didn't really think that i would finish this coat in february i'm just looking at my pattern matching but it's still there yeah i am not a pattern matching snob but it gives you some pleasure when you can pattern match and it works and it's it's fine I am between fabric stingy and uh, pattern matching snob so if it costs me too much fabric i would probably go off a tiny little bit somewhere but generally if it's important i would pattern match i would recommend making this coat it is a sporty type of a coat you can wear it with your jeans you can wear it with your dresses if you go out i wonder where at the moment but i think it is brilliant i feel very very happy that i made it that i managed to squeeze another coat in well this season this month and it is going to be worn a little bit at least well to be honest because i didn't add any interlining or anything it is not extremely warm i've got quite a few coats that are too warm for now so i suppose i can get away with wearing it into well march maybe even april we'll see i'm very happy it only has pockets it doesn't have a lot of details or anything and i've got poo bags in my pockets yes because it's me okay let's go to the next make the next make is my very simple and uh, solid i made a lot of solids this month well last month dress and it's a dress from one of the russian patterns companies that i made videos about it's called Shkatulka. so that's that's the pattern and it's a very very simple design so it's a very simple dress you can make a top out of that i did pay for this pattern but remember that there are three sizes that are always free for each pattern in Shkatulka. so it is worth going to the website and, and looking at the patterns because some are brilliant they never have seam allowances and uh, instructions are always well on their website so you have to go back to the website and read the instructions but i didn't i didn't read the instructions i just made the dress because come on it's very simple but my dress is not exactly like they suggest here so it's not straight i am going to make the straight version as well but for some reason i just wanted to change something so i added a skirt part i am going to add some video or something but my skirt part is it's fuller simply because i just wanted it because the fabric is plain the fabric is from my stash it was probably bought a year ago or something from colville because it is velvet and i think i only got velvet from colville no from minke.com as well so but i don't think this is from minke I, I don't remember honestly i just don't remember i've got loads of fabric and I'm very happy because I needed a plain, solid colours dress to wear with my multiple cardigans. Cardigans, I'm going to show you cardigans in, in a second. I'm, yeah, 
cardigans again. I always make a lot of cardigans, but that took me, with kind of re redrafting the skirt part, it probably took me, I don't know, an hour to make. It's very simple. I made my blind hem. I don't think I used cover stitch on this one, simply because I like the smooth surface. I like the fact that there are no lines here. I don't know. Sometimes I just do something else. So I blind hemmed this one and there is nothing to say about this dress apart from the fact that I added seam allowances everywhere but not to the sleeves because I wanted the sleeves to be slightly tighter I kind of like this this look and I love the pattern and I think for 75p or some, 70p I think I paid for, for it in my size it is brilliant yes you do have to add your own seam allowances but for me this is an advantage because I use various things to either I use one centimeter seam allowance if I sew with my regular sewing machine or I use my overlocker and then my seam allowances is eight well seven eight millimeters so this case is the overlocker I made it on the overlocker I'm very happy with it <laughs> and it is going to be very useful because sometimes I'm stuck like I want to wear something colourful on top of something equally colourful and I'm not brave enough to wear a lot of patterns at the same time. I'm going to show you the cardigans because that's probably a good place to show you my cardigan. Cardigans even. And you might have seen the making of, not really the making of, but parts of the process in my video. I made a video about, well, cover stitching thick fabric because in here, this is Juniper by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. And when I make the, the cardigans, I usually add either buttons or snaps. I prefer snaps in my cardigans, but it depends. And I use interfacing and I use interfacing that is not stretchy. So it makes everything even thicker. And the fabric that I used is equally thick. So it's thick in itself because it it's from beyond the pink door. And I can definitely recommend it. It's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. It is orange. It is very, very, very nicely orange. <laughs> I love my cardigans. And I made two because this one, the short one, the cropped version with three quarter sleeves is for my sister. So it's almost identical, but it's shorter because my sister likes flared skirts or dresses with flared skirt parts. So she is definitely going to get a lot of use out of the shorter version. And I am like an old teacher and I like my cardigans to be longer. I like all sorts of cardigans. I just like cardigans, but let me put it on. That's that's my cardigan and I love it and I'm very happy with it. And it's difficult to dress myself in front of the camera, but maybe I should move you a bit because you probably can't see me very well, but it's got saddle sleeves and I know that I didn't use the opportunity to color block. <laughs> For the first time ever not really i've got color blocked juniper cardigans because it used to be my favorite cardigan pattern ever because the instructions from jennifer lauren handmade are amazing so if you're a beginner yes her instructions are perfect for beginners they're perfect for any level and i really like the patterns because they're well drafted everything matches you know it's just really really pleasant to make it is a bit more time consuming than an ordinary cardigan, simply because you've got the saddle sleeve seam here, which, well, you need to be more careful when you sew, you know, every millimeter matters or it's not going to look very pretty. But other than that, not really, a bit time consuming, but definitely not difficult. And I'm so in love with my cardigans. But yeah, the other one is for my sister. So it's not really my cardigans, it's my cardigan plus the cardigan for my sister. I'm going to show you the three quarter length sleeves, cropped version as well. And the fabric is so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. If, if you can buy some, I would definitely recommend it because I washed it. It washes really nice. I know that it will pile a bit after some time. It's difficult to avoid things like that. But so far, so good. I'm very happy and it looks so pretty and that's quite important. I have moved the camera a little bit, so I'm not I'm not sure if you can see better now. But this is the, the shorter version, so it ends here. And it is beautiful. And when you 
close it looks like that i do everything quite quickly so i find it difficult to button up or snap up my cardigans it looks like that and the sleeves are to be worn like that and it accentuates your beautiful waist if you have a beautiful waist and if you don't have a beautiful waist you can pretend that you do and nobody will ever know so i love it i hope my <laughs> sorry i'm touching my boobs i hope my sister likes it as well and i think well she needs something plainer something in solids as well because being my sister she's got a lot of things that i made for her and they are also patterned I like it. I think I should make more and I should go back to the patterns that I used to love so much a bit more often. If you don't have this pattern, this is a brilliant cardigan pattern and really the instructions are perfect. I think the sizes now are expanded so, so you would the, the wider range of sizes. For me, the most important thing is that well, I can buy a pattern in my size because her size 6 fits me, which doesn't always happen. So I'm very happy with that way. So the, the smaller sizes are definitely covered, but I know that the bigger sizes are also extremely taken care of, far more than in many companies. So hopefully everybody is going to be happy. I am definitely happy and I can recommend, well, the pattern and I can recommend the fabric and I can recommend making it because it's it was fun it was nice it is one of the things that you make and you feel happy when you make it or oh, is it just me I just generally feel happy when I can make something well actually before I change I can show you something else and this is the most unusual section of my makes that you will ever see I made a lot of plain or solid type color clothes they're mainly for my husband hatch hubby and uh, they're well two pairs of jogging bottoms but they're not jogging bottoms for him they are kind of shed bottoms or whatever bottoms he doesn't do jogging <laughs> but they're very simple they are uh, i think they're called iron joggers from green style creations and uh, well they're very simple to make he didn't want pockets with zips because he doesn't like them so as as much as I thought they would look cool, I, I do understand that because I'm not really a fan of zippered pockets in my comfortable clothes. We are both not very padded, so when we sit down or something, when there is a zip at the back of your bum, you can feel it. So me and my husband are not really either super muscular or, or, or fluffy, so we don't really have a lot of padding. But what I wanted to say about the the joggings are that I was surprised that I didn't have to lengthen them because her chub is six three six foot three inches tall and usually I add at least two inches to the length of everything especially bottoms he likes them which is brilliant and I made them they're very warm I made them in fleece that I got from Colville and this one is not my favorite but I've got another pair of joggings of jogging bottoms, joggings, jeggings, <laughs> of jogging bottoms that are in in this color and this one is sort of my favorite. I really like it. It's very nice, very very soft and very fluffy and, and very sweet and very lovely. I didn't really do much. Well, it's it had a cord, but actually it doesn't like cords, so it hasn't got the cord anymore. I cover stitched everything so the, the pockets are cover stitched and that's top and bottom cover stitch three needles that's three needles everywhere else because for some reason i don't really like when there is too much of top and bottom cover stitching and the thread is all orange <laughs> you can see a theme and he likes them and i'm shocked that he likes them because I, I i don't know actually what i thought i kind of didn't really expect him to like them but he does and i made him so that was the first pair without the cord and yes i label my husband so my label means that he's mine who belongs to me and i made him a matching top and this top is house of a kong top she only has one pattern for a top so far that's a tiger top i call it tiger sweatshirt so again i added pockets the pockets are not originally in the pattern but i just cover stitched them 
So the cover stitched lining of the pocket is inside. It is basically, and as you can probably see, because it's full, it's full of fluff and full of dirt, it is his shed top. So, well, not much to say about it. The pattern, the House of Akong Tiger Sweatshirt, is for women. So if you want to use it for a man, you would probably need to add some length. Definitely need to add some length. But I like it because it is so simple. It is very much like something that you would buy in a high street shop just an ordinary sweatshirt with nothing so you can play with it you can do loads like i use it for cover stitching for practicing my cover stitching and i use this pattern a lot because well it's simple it's easy to make it fits pretty much everyone i think well depending on what size you choose but if you choose the correct size it should fit everyone also because people are going to ask i did use the the ribbing in both cases so in the lighter one as well i used the ribbing that mark sells now and it's it's okay am i a ribbing snob it is polyester ribbing <laughs> so i am never going to be converted i will like my ribbing the, the ribbing that i get from europe from poland mainly and from germany and from holland i just i like my ribbing to be cotton based I think nothing equals the quality of the ribbing that is cotton and spandex and nothing else because it stretches beautifully, it's got excellent recovery. This one doesn't really stretch that much. It is something that you would see like in Primark or New Look or something, so kind of high street shops for, for teenagers. It doesn't look expensive <laughs> and it is not meant to look expensive. It is brilliant for what it is and for the price I think well it's a fraction of the price so I'm not going to ask a lot or I'm perfectly aware that the ribbing that I buy is about three times more expensive so I'm definitely not going to recommend expensive fabric for something that is going to be used in the garden or in the shed or as your pyjamas or something so yeah brilliant they match perfectly so the color matches perfectly ask yeah. plenty of times and it, I really like hearing that Hachabi said that they look like from the shop, but so much better. It is nice. I know that he's married to me, so he's obliged to say things like that, but still I like it. Before I change, because before I show you the dresses and stuff, I'm going to show you what I also made for him. And that was a gift for Valentine's Day. And I made a top for him. And that is Jali Nico top with long sleeve, because I wanted to see if i like it with uh, long sleeves and i do and it is at the moment dirty but i used this quilted fabric from minke.com it is 100 percent cotton as far as i remember it is extremely good quality and i bought it two years ago so i'm afraid i haven't got it anymore i had it in two colorways but i've used everything up now no I, I have some left but it's it's for me i'm not sharing well Nothing to say about this top. I color blocked just the front, so the back is plain with the quilted fabric at the back and as the sleeves, raglan sleeves, well, pleasure to make because Nico top takes no, an hour tops to make, even with the cover stitching and everything. This one hasn't got pockets and the hem is left as is and the sleeves are hemmed with the cover stitch and again left as they are i added some length to the sleeves but not a lot it is a great pattern and you can have all the sizes so there are so many sizes that i don't even think they are necessary in the pattern but it's it's brilliant you've got all the sizes millions of sizes <laughs> and then one more plain or oh, solid i made the same top to so house of a kong tiger sweatshirt for myself and again the only thing, the only feature is the pockets. The pockets that I added, they're not in the pattern. And it's brilliant. I have been wearing it so much because that kind of makes me realize how much I need it solid. But, but nothing to say about that. I haven't changed anything. And this is probably, according to plenty of people, it would be the most boring thing I've ever made. But so what? I like it. Well, I hope this is not boring because of the sleeves. And this is another Russian company, Russian pattern making or pattern drafting company that I recommended in the first 
video about Russian patterns. It is La Forme, it is one of my favorite pattern companies like ever. And I know that, yes, you do need to translate the instructions, but I think it's worth it. I think this one was about three pounds or something. I don't remember the pattern, uh, but that's, that's the pattern. So I, well, I kind of made this one. To be honest, I'm going to explain in a second. To be honest, I made the view with, with the high color, but it was suffocating me. <laughs> it's not really about the size, it's about the feeling. I think I, I picked the right size because I think it fits me everywhere else. But, and it's not that I've got, well, I've got an exceptionally narrow neck. So it's not that my neck, neck is generally wider. So it doesn't really go with the size of the rest of my body. Quite the opposite. It wasn't, in reality, it wasn't too tight. I just, I felt like somebody was kind of grabbing my throat and uh, I hated that. So desperately, I tried to change the neckline. It is changed sort of post-production so I made it and then I changed it now I think I would change something in the button so it would probably feel better look better you know it would be more professional whatever that means but all in all I love the dress and the dress is spectacular and I thought I was going to hate it because I thought I'm, I'm not very trendy I don't really follow trends because very often I feel too exposed I feel that people think looking at me that I am supposed to be trendy if I wear something that is fashionable at the moment which is a really weird twisted way of thinking or twisted logic but I don't often want to have things that are extremely fashionable because a week later I look at myself in a photo or whatever and I think oh, I looked horrible and maybe I do but I have fun wearing the sleeves that are like that. The sleeves are not difficult to make. They are raglan sleeves, but they are, when you cut the pattern out, and they're sort of ginormous because you've got all the gathering here. All of it is gathered, see? So they are very, very full, very full. It's like the power sleeves in the 80s. And I feel... I don't know what I feel like uh, an American football player <laughs> the, the big shoulders but it was easy to make I don't think there is anything tricky in the pattern I mean the instructions I did translate them normally I don't really translate the instructions I do understand Russian so and I think that reading the instructions in Russian probably makes it easier for me to understand not that I generally understand the instructions. I'm one of the people who switches off after like five seconds of reading instructions. But I did read the, inst the instructions, the English version is a bit muddled. When you are to attach the, or to, to gather the sleeves, I think it's not, I don't remember what word they used, but I remember that, so that, that is just gathering. That is not like whatever, pulling or something. It's just gathering. But I suppose everybody can guess what to do with the sleeves. You've got a lot of the surface of the sleeve and you've got not a lot of the surface of <laughs> of the sleeve opening of the armhole. So you have to ease it in, you have to gather it. Ta -da. But that easy, really. Apart from the fact that you have to spend some time gathering your sleeves because there is a lot of gathering. They are gathered at the back as well. So See, that, that is a lot of gathering, but... Apart from that, there is nothing else. There are darts in the front, two darts in the front going through all of the dress and two darts at the back. Again, the same thing. You've got zip at the back and that's it. And there is nothing, nothing extra. And I think the, well, the result is spectacular. Even if you hate it, it is still spectacular. I like it. The fabric is from... The textile center and i had it in my stash for again about two years or something so it needed using and i used it and uh, when i went to work wearing this dress i did a lot a lot of compliments and a lot of funny looks so from the the, the partners <laughs> so i don't know maybe it's not perfect for work but i wear it to work nobody can see me at the moment so i can do whatever i want but that that's the russian dress i've got another russian dress and i totally forgot about it but i made it at the beginning of february 
I think. And I made it because of Sean from Kittenish Behavior. I'll show you. I'll change to show you. <laughs> now my hair goes everywhere. So this is the the color pattern that Sean recommended. Sean from Kittenish Behavior. She's got, as you probably know, she's got a channel, so you can watch her. And she's brilliant because I think that the dress that's that's the dress that's the drawings and the color patterns have numbers so it's the color T184 although I call it my Shan dress and you can color block and you can color block well in various ways but I decided that too much color blocking for my dress would probably be too much so I color blocked only the the front panel here I've got the belt that is color blocked I mean that that is the solid. And I've got the parts of the sleeves that are before the the cuffs that are in the same colour. What colour is it? Purplish something. <laughs> Not great at describing colours, am I? But I love it. It's super comfortable. I'm not sure if I like the fact that it's got eyelets as suggested, inserted here. And there is no panel inside. It doesn't really bother me. My skin is not very sensitive, but I think maybe I should add a tunnel just to make sure that nothing that there is no steel against my body. But but other than that, perfect. I love it, and I am going to use this button again. Uh, the the thing that I did that I shouldn't have done <laughs> was that I added a few centimeters to my measurements when I ordered the pattern, so it's not as small as it should be i don't know why i did that but yeah so it's basically not quite my size but that is my fault because i thought that it is probably going to be better if i add a few centimeters because you never know we are not going out anywhere somebody said that i don't remember who that was sorry but somebody said covid19 means that we put on 19 pounds was it or something yeah that that's brilliant so Maybe I was just thinking that in case that was the lockdown weight of some, or something. The fabric is again from the textile center. And I don't know what it is. It looks like Liverpool crepe for me because it is slightly stretchy. Not a lot of stretch, but it is slightly stretchy. I'm not sure if it's going to last because when you stretch it, it hasn't got the greatest recovery in the world. So when you stretch it, you can see the white and I don't like it, but it's not stretched or it's not... It's not a tight fitting dress, so it's not stretched anywhere on my body. So I'm not worried that it is going to be showing the, the white spots as I wear it. But I'm not sure if the fabric is going to last forever. Probably not, but I like it. And it is really vivid. I think and I need to do something about the light because the light is changing and I need to probably close the shutters or something. And my next dress, and I'm not sure why I change, because you can't see it anyway. I, I will probably take a photo, video or whatever. But my next dress is self-drafted. Because, well, the, the last two or even three months, they've been really difficult for me. I have been working really, really hard and a lot, which I don't mind, but I have been extremely tired and I've been tired physically, emotionally. And, and I thought that I needed a reward so I bought myself a few one-to-one -one classes with uh, a designer who's kind of going to teach me a bit more about pattern drafting. I did some online courses in pattern drafting, but I'm not good at it. I'm just, I know more or less how to do it, but that's pretty much it. So I decided that I needed a bit more and I bought myself a few more lessons because I have absolutely no time. I am exhausted. So that is my reward for being <laughs> tired to make myself even more tired but the dress is self-drafted i made a few mistakes but it fits me it does fit me it fits me perfectly it is a simple flat dress and uh, it's got a belt that i made too long for some reason and because i thought that i would add some designer detail the only designer detail that i can add at the moment is a flounce so <laughs> a ruffle so I added the ruffle to the, the hem. It works and I like it. It's by no means perfect. There are plenty of places where I think now, I think I should have done things better. 
and when you draft your own partners you as you sew you don't have instructions so you don't actually you have to think about what you do you don't have any guide and i forgot about one thing like i forgot to make well any any sort of loop or whatever for my belt so i just opened the seam and that made a hole you can't see it but there is a hole here <laughs> so this is probably not the best idea i mean i overlocked it and yeah it is it's not perfect but i love it it's an experiment but i love it because it really fits me it is drafted for me so it fits me and the sleeves well at first i thought that i would have them open but you know me i need some elastic or or something some kind of cutting my cuts are helping and yeah i think it's great there is nothing super exciting for you because it's not the button that you can commercially buy i made this button but still i'm very proud of myself yeah silly and well and the button was free because i made it and i made the dress and the fabric was from my stash i had loads of this fabric i think i got it from colville again i have no idea but every time when i find fabric that i've got a lot of i think it's from colville because why do i have that much i think i have my cats i think i had five meters of this fabric let me just sort my cats out this is charlie and this is my new clapper charlie and clapper shouldn't be together should they which reminds me has made me a clapper and this one is like really heavy really hard wood and it had my name on but maybe you can still see it but it doesn't anymore because had chubby sanded it or whatever i don't whatever it is done to finish the wood he did that and it disappeared <laughs> so you can only see a bit of it but but still i love the clapper it's the second clapper he made for me and this one is definitely better i don't know what wood it is something some sort of nut i love it and it's a present for me for valentine's for the valentine's day i like homemade presents for me they're better than anything else so yeah i am very happy i am very happy and very proud of my husband who is just so talented he never watches my videos so i can say whatever i want but i do think he's talented i made so many things okay and a few more makes and you can go i'm not going to change because you would spend your lifetime in front of the tv or computer or whatever i made some beanie hats as well and some for my sister some for me and i made a snood that i'm going to wear together and you can make this beanie hat and somebody asked if they could be reversible they are reversible so you have to stitch them invisibly by hand but you would do that anyway unless you really hate it but i hate hand stitching and even i do that so they are reversible so see one and now lick magic 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 happens turn it absolutely well, inside out and the other i just never really make them in two different colors but yes they are reversible and they're perfect because they're from the knit that i got again from colville <laughs> i get a lot of fabric from from colville that cheap that's the knit that i got from colville that i absolutely love so i bought all the colorways and i use them for for everything i've got another yeah i use them for everything and i've got another cardigan two cardigans that i made out of this knit do you want to see and i also made them in february there is no way i will ever in my life show you all the makes from one month first of all because i don't remember second of all because they are getting worn immediately third of all because why should you care for everything i make i'm not the, the best youtuber am i uh, i don't really like when things are me centered so i can't really i'm not really good at making videos like that because i always think like why should you care about what i made but i know that i like watching videos like that i like watching what people make and still <laughs> i don't understand why people watch my videos i generally don't understand why people watch my videos i'm shocked well thank you very much for 
watching if you are don't forget to like the video because i always forget to say that another reason why i'm not a great youtuber and i don't even try to be but like the video like the video like the video <laughs> make me smile <laughs> i made two cardigans out of this knit and this one this one is harper that's harper cardigan that's probably the, the last one that i'm going to make for a while and uh, i mainly made it because i wanted to cover stitch i just felt like cover stitching so i thought why not make a cardigan to a cover stitch everything there is a lot of cover stitching that is almost invisible because i i picked the thread that is almost the same but i swear it is cover stitched so it is cover stitched see everywhere but that's the harper and uh that is the the kind of mid weight the the mid length version i like harper cardigans i wear them a lot looks like that but you've seen my harper cardigans and everybody else's harper cardigans everywhere yeah i'm very happy with it and uh, i don't think i've worn it yet this one i don't think i have but I like it because it's this melange colour, see? So it doesn't look very orange in my camera. It is more orange, more rusty orange than it looks, at least for me, at least now. But I suppose that depends on the light. And another one I made, I made another one out of that fabric. What am I doing? Am I undressing or not? But that was again because I wanted to cover stitch. And I wanted to use orange thread, and I don't think it worked. I mean, what do you think? Because I wanted the, the kind of flashes of orange inside. So I used orange thread in, in the looper and in my needles. So everywhere. <laughs> so I used orange. But I think it's maybe too orange. But you never know until you've tried. And I used... Berda Easy pattern, but I don't remember which one. The, the one from Berda Easy magazine. I don't remember which one. It's a very simple cardigan. And um, yeah, yeah, I will wear it. I will wear all my cardigans. I need to finish or you're going to die of hunger. Have a snack. Right, I'm just going to quickly show you one more thing. That is Berda top that I added pockets to. And Berda top, that's Berda 121, so 121. From December 2020 and it is supposed to look like that right but I changed it so I made the sleeves much much shorter I sized it down I added pockets and the pockets are different this time and oh, I don't know um I just like my pockets but see the pockets are just straight here right so it's like welt pockets in uh, knits the fabric is from fabricshop.pl. It is French terry. It is cotton based French terry. Super soft, super lovely. I did color block it and it's the same whales that Hedge Hubby's front of his jelly pattern is made out of. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. So I used the same fabric for himself and for moi. So we will match. And it's it's okay i think i made it too long because that is probably not the best length for me but other than that i'm very very happy i just wanted to see if the pattern was going to work because if i see a raglan top pattern and it is a raglan top pattern i want a raglan top pattern i know that this is insane because i've got so many raglan <laughs> sleeve buttons that I definitely don't need to try anymore, but it's just something I like raglan sleeves. It's just something that always attracts me to the pattern. Right. I hope you are well, that you are still alive. Thank you very much for watching. If I forgot about something which is quite probable, I'll show you next month. <laughs> Thank you and see you soon. Bye. <laughs>